One of the most important celebrations of the year for African Americans took place in southwest Indiana. Lyle Station Historic School and Museum just outside Princeton held a Juneteenth celebration on Saturday, June 16, commemorating the end of slavery in the United States. At the celebration, visitors listened to a speech from Lyle's chairman Stanley Madison and later took tours of the museum. Madison spoke about the significance of Juneteenth and what it means to African American communities, including Lyle's. It's very important for us to understand that the Juneteenth is a, uh, a mark in our history that we definitely want to recognize because it's kind of just like we do at the 4th of July. It is a freedom time for a certain group of people that was in bondage back in the early, uh, you know, the early years of our nation's history here. Juneteenth is celebrated each year, June 19th, the day in 1865 in which President Abraham Lincoln abolished slavery in the U.S. with the Emancipation Proclamation. It's really actually June the 19th, but for the get member of our uh, older generation that someone could help bring them out to the Juneteenth celebration, we uh, celebrate it usually the weekend prior to the 19th, unless the 19th is falling on Saturday. The community of Lyle Station was settled in the 1840s by former Tennessee slaves Joshua and Sanford Lyles and was home to schools and churches that helped sustain the community. The Lyles Consolidated School was reopened in 2003 and today serves as a reminder of the community's past. Madison hopes both the Juneteenth celebration and any visit to Lyles will have visitors leaving with a greater understanding of history. Well, I think if uh, you look at the uh the uh, history behind Lyle Station and, and taking part in the museum, you will really get an understanding of what African American early farming communities were like. We came here as uh, free African Americans to buy land. We uh, set down, you might say, a deep root over the large uh, number of years that we have been able to establish a farming community, a very strong farming community, that has been positive of feeding the people around the nation. Lyle Station is located just three miles west of Princeton and can be accessed from both US 41 and State Road 64. The museum is open Monday through Saturday from 1 to 4 p.m. Central Time. To learn more about the school and museum, visit lylestation.org. For 22 Magazine, I'm Adam Reinhardt. A Reve Patriot is headed south of the equator this summer. Caitlin Creech is a soon-to-be senior on the Lady Patriots track and field team and specializes in the shot put. Her achievements in high school have led to a selection by Down Under Sports to participate in the International Track and Field Games in Australia this July. Creech says the thrill of competing on an international stage is undoubtedly exciting. Oh, I'm excited. I am a little nervous, but I'm excited. I've always wanted to... Um, tour outside the United States. I was, I've always, it's always been a dream of mine, so I get to pursue that at a young age, and I'm, I'm thrilled. There wasn't really a process. I was just, they just pick you at random, and I was, I was actually in class. I got called down to the office, and I was handed a, an envelope, and I opened it in there, and it said that I was, I've been selected, and so I was like, I was really, really happy. The trip to Australia is certainly not cheap. However, Fundraising events earlier this year, such as a bingo competition in Lawrenceville, have helped offset the cost. Creech has also been putting in a lot of work and a lot of training and does not intend to stop anytime soon. I started training the day I found out. I've been hitting the weight room. I, um, my dad used to work at the prison over in Sumner, so he knew a lot of workout buddies and everything else. And, um, one of them said he would help me, so he kind of trained me a little bit. And then I started training myself for after, after a few months of that. And then I came out here, started throwing for real, and the season's been going really well. But her skills haven't been limited to just track and field. Creech also plays volleyball and basketball for the Lady Patriots and was a member of the state finals team this past winter. Creech says the experience on the volleyball and basketball courts has prepared her well for the track and field competitions. Well, those two, um, they keep me conditioned, for one thing. We lift in both sports, too, and so I, I get to lift all year round, basically, which I love. I still have a, t a ton of support, and those coaches help me as well. Um, I couldn't ask for better coaches. 
Creech and Team USA will compete in the International Track and Field Games July 13th through 15th at the Griffith University Gold Coast Campus in Gold Coast, Australia. To learn more about this competition, visit downundersports.com. For 22 Magazine, I'm Adam Reinhardt. Has many unfilled jobs, actually many, much more. Um, we have more unadvocate um, that's going to allow you to determine your turn in the middle of it all, in the heart of the heartland, and that's a, a real strain. And here are the, you know, thousand jobs in a <laughs> It seems like uh, the city of Vincennes is a city of firsts in, in so many respects, and so um, it just means it's a, it, I hold a, a real special place, um, not just in my head, but also in my heart for for uh, the Vincennes and for Grouseland. And to know that uh, there are so many good people here in Knox County uh, that are still giving to make sure that um, it lives on. There's a lot of work to set this up, and you know I do a lot of the planning and uh, all the like setup and things like that by myself with a little help from my family and friends. But uh, it is a lot. I have a lot of local support, and I love you know the the support I get. And I'm just trying to do something fun for the area, and maybe try to draw in some new business uh, or some of the local business gets a boost in sales while the show's going on. So and just trying to have something fun for everybody to do, so. We got a lot of great artists. We got a lot of uh, great people, vendors out here. The great things about Comic-Con 
is that uh, we are our geeks and nerds that come together uh, to support each other. Uh, from vendors selling comics to great uh, children and adults dressing up like their favorite characters. Here's another way WVUT is at your service. Advanced season tickets for the upcoming 10-year-old Cal Ripken World Series will be sold for only $20 until Tuesday, July 31st. These discounted tickets will be good for all tournament games and will be sold at Vincennes Water Utilities, German American Bank, Old National Bank, and First Vincennes Savings Bank. The games will be played at the Vincennes Cub League. To learn more, contact Kirk Bushy at 812-887-7681 or kbushy at venutilities.com. Here is a look at VU Notes. Students, faculty, and community members are welcome to join an educational trip to Rome, Florence, and Paris in May 2019. An info session will take place Thursday, August 23rd at 5 p.m. in room C101 at the Shercliffe Humanities Building. This educational trip will include stops at the Sistine Chapel, St. Peter's Basilica, and the Louvre. To learn more, contact Sarah Turney at 812-888-4135 or sturney at vinu.edu.